Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and you know, I really don't feel like making this video necessarily because the target audience today or is the kind of audience that licks Windows, okay? All right, let's be real here. Not Windows 10, not Windows 11. They they know the exact taste of each different Windex uh, brand that comes out, ladies and gentlemen. The people I'm talking about today are computer, like, hackers, okay? Not just the cool type of hackers that you see in Hollywood movies. I'm talking about the type of hackers that are in your video games ruining the fun for all of us. Now, as somebody that plays Rainbow Six Siege, Destiny 2, uh, you know, really any multiplayer game, I have to deal with people that are hacking all the time, okay? Now, I think personally, if you hack in a video game, you are a loser, okay? All right, simple as that. It's, you know, I'm not going to be nice here, okay? We here at Some Ordinary Gamers are incredibly inclusive to everyone, okay? I don't care who you are, what background you have, what your orientations are, whatever it is, but if you hack and cheat and deceive people in an online video game, you're not welcome in this community. You are a loser, okay? Now, of course, today's video is all about helping these people because as much of a loser as you are, I believe that you should still be safe on the internet. Now, if you run any sort of hack, um, obviously, if you download hacks on the internet and you're giving them all sorts of administrator privileges, boot time loading, or right, everything in the world, chances are you're probably getting your personal information stolen, okay? Now, of course, I went down the pipeline here, if you will, and found out just how easy it is to actually get information with some pretty nasty malware. Now, of course, like some losers on the internet who want to hack on a video game and get some stuff buffed up, because let's be real, some people will hack to get better scores so they can maybe get a YouTube Twitch career, and at some point you'll be found out, and I'll definitely make a video laughing at you, okay? But of course, if you go onto the old YouTube, YouTube if you will, you can type in words like video game here, hack, cheat, free. Free is very important, okay? This is for the people that don't want to pay money. So of course, YouTube will immediately give you a bunch of videos from yeah before I uh, go in this is the virginity parade I'm blocking out the name simply because I don't want to give these people any chance at harassing or any chance to claim that they were harassed ladies and gentlemen these are the people that show up first on YouTube for any video regarding this now these people showcase footage of the video game with the hack running now in certain cases this channel known as loser which is only 113 subscribers now the thing about this channel is obviously it's flown under YouTube's moderation this is content that will get removed this is absolutely violating of YouTube's terms of services. Now in this footage over here, they've got some copyrightable music and they're showcasing hacked footage. Now this is not footage they've recorded, okay? This is footage from a video game or, or, or maybe a legitimate hack floating around. There's no notion of their actual gamer tag, their YouTube channel name, nothing is out there. Now what they're doing is they're doing something known as an ESP or an aimbot. Basically they're able to look through walls and find the enemy. Now, in the description over here, they're tag stuffing, which, by the way, is still violating YouTube's TOS. I mean, I got hit with this years ago, so the, the whole thing is not okay. But, of course, in this situation, they've given a download link with a password known as 7204. Now, with 4,000 views, they've got some of the most botted comments in the world. Installed! Everything works! Thanks! Nice tutorial, very helpful. It's very good, working, thanks! Now, of course, this isn't the only channel. All right, there's other channels out there. For instance, this one is Loser. Okay, now if you go to Loser, you can see that this gives you the Bullyom experience, health tips, motivational tips, hair tips. All right, and of course, alongside every tip, you get a bunch of hack tips. Hey guys, you wanna hack Fortnite? Here you go! You wanna download illicit CC cleaner? Here you go. Hey, you guys want free hacks for... They didn't even title this video. That's how lazy it is. God, get to the giant look at some online human. I'm switching languages, all right? I'm getting a little tilted. Now, of course, if you look into their video, I'm going to go down over here. Now, this is so lazy, in fact, ladies and gentlemen. They've literally downloaded this from another fucking channel and have called it a day. Now, of course, they gave me a download link. So if I click on the download link over here, you can see that this does not contain viruses. Okay, upload it September 12th, 2022. All right, link download. So they're giving you a media fire link. And of course, the password is 2022. Now, of course, they've got some anime shit over here. I, I, I don't know, maybe that like makes you download shit. I don't know, okay? I don't claim to know this, all right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna show you just how wretched and disgusting this actual piece of malware is. Now, before we continue, I have to say, don't actually do this on your own computer. The only reason I'm doing it is because I know what I'm doing. I am a professional. 
Now, of course, inside here is new Valorant, okay? So we're gonna unpack this, and we're just gonna drag this folder here. It's gonna ask for a password for the archive. Obviously, they put these in here so they can make sure that only legitimate users are downloading it, and also they pack this up so it can bypass a lot of the virus scanning that happens on a lot of these distribution services. So, of course, we're gonna unpack this cancer, and we're gonna open it up. Now, of course, it comes with a lot of files. Install DLL, setup.dll. None of this shit actually works, okay? For instance, these files have literally, the, these folders have literally nothing in them. What's important is valorant.exe. This is the malware. Now, this is 726 megabytes in file size, and that's literally because they made it filled with dummy data all so that they can avoid anybody fi virus scanning this through things like virus total or hybrid analysis. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to compress this real quick is valorant.zip. And now this 726 megabyte file, ladies and gentlemen, has become a 6.8 megabyte file, okay? So that's the actual data inside here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna actually create a new project on any run, a new uh, sandbox, just so I can virus and, and analyze this for you. So let's make a new task. Let's drag this file right in, this little cancer. All right, drag that right in there, okay? Class, are we ready? Okay, so run that task. I agree, the whole world can see. And we're going to effectively create a new task here. So it's provisioning a virtual machine, getting us ready for Windows 7. Give it a second, all right? Everything's firing up here. Oh my God, it's actually running a lot of threats that shouldn't, okay, all right, here we go. Here we go. So here we got a 700 megabyte file. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna drag this all the way to the desktop, like God intended, okay? And uh, once it's extracted, we're just gonna run it, okay? So here you can see the icon doesn't match anything. We're gonna hit yes. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, whoa, look at that. I'm connecting to all these goddamn Russian servers. What the fuck? Stealing of credential data. Raccoon detected. Yeah, it's actually stealing everything that I have. It's actually trying to steal every single thing on this drive right here. This has made so many goddamn requests to Russian servers, it's not even funny. Now, because some loser decided to download free hacks off the internet, they completely got infected. All of this took less than a minute to do on YouTube.com. And it's not just YouTube's fault. This happens on Twitter, Facebook, whatever you want to call it, okay? This happens everywhere. You just got Trojaned within, like, a second. Now, of course, I downloaded another piece of Valorant hack off of YouTube within a minute, and here's something even wilder, okay? So here we got Valorant new.exe. And, of course, when this launches, ladies and gentlemen, this gives us the threat of Redline, okay? Now, for those of you who don't know what Redline is, Redline is detected under memory dumps. Redline is actually a piece of malware that you can rent and buy off of the dark web or any hacker forum. Effectively, what Redline does is once it launches, it'll take all of your data, scrape it off of your system, and send it over to a C2 server somewhere off in the other side of the world. Now, of course, in this piece of case, this actually sent me to some Russian server out here, okay? So not good. Not great in any capacity. Of course, Redline, for instance, can be bought for months, weeks, maybe a lifetime at a time. And this steals tons of information off of you. So it collects from your browsers, your login passwords, your cookies, your autocomplete fields, your credit cards, whatever it can find off of your browser and your system, it will grab and take it away. Of course, in some cases, it looks rather simple, okay? So this is what it looks like, apparently, from the main screen, right? So somebody creates a little dummy program for you, the Valorant hack, sends it over via YouTube, Discord, whatever service, actual trusted CDN services, and then as soon as you launch it, you'll have nothing happen. Sometimes not even the actual, you know, sometimes not even the command prompt pops up for a second. You'll have all your information stolen, things like your IM clients, your FTP clients, browsers, tokens, whatever you call it, all gone, within seconds, and all because you degenerate fucks wanted to cheat for a second on video games. Now, the reason I'm making this video is A, as a public service announcement, because I feel that it's ethically knowledgeable to explain why these free hacks that are floating around so easily on the internet contain some absolute nefarious bad pro bad files within them that can absolutely harm your system and look through your network and harm any system connected around you. I don't understand why somebody hacks in an online video game because I think it's some of the most degenerate loser shit that you can do. I think that without a doubt, there's 24 hours in a day, okay? If you're sitting there hacking in an online video game, you've already lost a life, okay? And maybe you should, you, 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 maybe you should reconvene and think about how to go forward from that end. But of course, with all these hacks floating around on the internet, it's fun to look at them from time to time and see some of the degenerate channels 
violating the terms of services, destroying them, okay? Rectally goatseeing the TOS, spreading the straight up malware. It takes a minute to find. And of course, as soon as you download it, as soon as you try to see if you can get your ranks higher on Siege or whatever online game, you have effectively lost all of your data. Now again, I don't really care too much if you are actually willing to hack in a video game and you're actually fucking dumb enough to go on the internet and look up free aimbot and then still decide to run that executable file with administrator privileges. There is no part of me that actually feels bad for you. This is literally just professional courtesy that I would sit there and explain to you how some of these degenerate channels with stars on their banners, okay, are taking advantage of absolute morons on the internet. Now, of course, you know, this isn't just out there. There's probably some kids, you know, under the age of like 18, maybe like 11 years old, eight years old, who are playing shit on Roblox and they just want to get like the advantage on Roblox Squid Game. All of you losers who are actually hacking in online video games, if you are dumb enough to type in free hack on the internet, this is exactly what happens. Now, for all of you smart ones out there, you thousand IQ friends, I hope we all had a laugh at just how easy it is to have your information stolen on the internet, but also how scarily easy it is to have your information stolen on the internet, all from these mainstream services that are not doing enough to moderate this content. I don't know why YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, you know, the Daily Motion, uh, you know, the OnlyFans haven't sat down and used some of their amazing machine learning tools to look at all these words, aimbot, video game, free, 100%, and taken them down. There are so many YouTubers I've seen getting taken down for spam, scams, and deceptive practices, calling this kind of content out or anything, but the actual content that's in violation of those TOSs is still staying up. Sometimes, you know, send it out, recommend it to random kids who are deciding to download this kind of crap to begin with. Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I have got to delete some virtual machines, okay? Actually, I'm going to do that right here. Both these virtual machines have given their life for us, running absolute malware. Let's delete them. All right, have a little eulogy. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.